Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to TJ Just Talk. I am TJ and for those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel and if you like this video after watching, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe. I am not one to watch the news. Me and my husband, we just don't watch news. We don't watch a lot of news. Like, we don't flip our TV and we put it on news channels and just watch a bunch of news. We just don't do that. Um, the news first of all they spread fear there's a lot of fear you know they don't tell the news a lot of times objectively so be careful where you get your news sources from and who is feeding you news um there is a lot of terrible things happening out there in the world today and nothing for us to be shocked by if you are a believer like myself um, the world right now as we all know it there's a lot of crazy things happening out there from floods um, there's floods in Pakistan, the U.S., um, Seoul just had a typhoon, um, famine in Sudan. There's just a lot of drought. There's just a lot of things. Earthquake, there was just an earthquake in China um, this week. There's just a lot going on every single day. You can turn on your TV, you can go online, and there's just bad news. Um, to my brothers and sisters out there in Christ, I just want to bring a word of encouragement today to you guys and myself. Um, you know, Jesus told us in the word that we we're going to see famine. There's going to be pestilence, earthquakes, all this type of stuff. But he said one thing, we should not be afraid. That is so important. Not for us to be afraid. We are not supposed to be afraid when we see or hear these things. Why? Because for those of us who believe in Jesus Christ, we put our trust in him, we've turned away from our sin, and we are following him, right? We have a relationship with him. We know him. We can put our trust in him. I know that he will take care of us. He will protect us no matter what situation we are in. Troubles will come our way, but we know that God says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So I'm seeing this food crisis. I've been hearing about this food crisis for a while now. And my husband went to the store um, this past week and he was telling me now in our area, because I live in New Jersey, that he's starting to see the shelves. They're looking a little bit bare. But this is what I would say to every believer out there. If God can cause manna to fall from the sky to feed his people after they left Egypt, he can do it for us. Stuff can show up at your doorstep. God can move on somebody's heart to bring you food. God can move on somebody's heart to do anything that needs to be done. Our part is to believe that God can do these things. We have to believe. The work that we have as the body of Christ is to believe in what Jesus Christ has done, what he said, and put our trust in him. Our dependency need to be on Jesus Christ. And this is really going to show every single believer that calls himself a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ, who they truly are. It's going to reveal to you your heart, whether you have a stony ground heart, whether your heart is a wayside heart, you know, whether you're going to stand, stand for righteousness and stand trusting God that God can be your provider, that God can take care of you no matter what the situation, no matter what it looks like. And me and my family, we have decided that is what we're going to do. So I want to encourage you guys today that you need to trust God no matter where you are. A lot of believers right now going through a lot of trials, a lot of tribulation. But God is there. God knows. Keep believing. Keep trusting Him. He will provide. He will make a way. He's God. He never fails. He watches over His word to perform it. That is what He says. As for me and my house... TJ right here, I swear TJ and Kenny, we are going to put our trust in Jesus Christ and Him alone. So while we see all these things happening in the world, here is a scripture that I believe all believers, brothers and sisters in Christ, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, and I'm sure most of us know this pretty well. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray 
and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. So the first thing we have to do is humble ourselves. God resists the proud. Pride did not start in the Garden of Eden. Pride started in heaven. Pride was found in the devil while he was Lucifer in heaven. That was the sin he committed. So God is saying, humble yourselves. Don't be proud. Humble yourselves. A lot of people may say, how do I humble myself? Or I hear people pray and say, God humble me. That God doesn't humble you. You have to do that yourself. God tells us in the scripture that we are to humble ourselves. We do it. So I'm going to go to a scripture in the Bible and give you one way you can humble yourself. One way. It's in Psalm 35 and it's verse 13. And this was King David. And he says, but as for me, when they were sick, I'm reading from the New King James Version. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting. So you can humble yourself with fasting. So if you read 2 Chronicles 7, 14 again, it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, you fast and pray and seek my face. And a, and a lot of believers right now, we should be fasting and praying. In the book of Acts, we saw that a lot of things that were done, the believers in the early church, they fast and prayed and sought the Lord. They wanted to hear from God. So they fast. They came in unity and they fast. So if you're at home with your family, fast with your family. And seek God. Seek God during this time. And let's repent for our nation. Let's repent. Let's repent before God. But humble yourselves and pray. And then I'm going to leave you guys with this. This is from Psalm 33. And God says, Behold, the high of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. There is a famine going on in the land. God will keep us alive, those who believe and put our trust in Jesus Christ and depend only on him. He says, and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. That's who God is. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us just as we hope in you. So today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, put your trust, keep your trust in Jesus, our Lord, who has all the grace we need. His grace is sufficient for us, and he can keep us through this time. He's done it before in time past, and he's done it in my life, and I'm sure some of you listening probably he's done it in your life before. He can do it now. Nothing is too hard for our Lord. So whatever you are going through, put your trust in Jesus Christ, our Savior. For those of you who don't know the Lord, Give your life to Christ today. Believe on Jesus Christ. Believe on what he did on the cross. Repent. Turn from your sin. Change your mind and follow him today. Guys, I thank you for tuning into the channel. Leave comments below. Let me know what are you hearing out there. Maybe you watch from a news source what's going on. I believe God can lead people to get certain information if they need it. Leave a comment below. What's going on in your area? Are you seeing a lot of food shortages in your area as well? Stuff not on the shelf. Um, I know in California, they had a really hot week. There was a day where it was 107 degrees. Um, really, really hot. And there's a lot of brush fires. What's going on? And let's pray. Let's seek God and pray. So let's hear what's going on with you. Um, how God is moving in your life. Leave it in the comment below. Share the video. Encourage somebody. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we're going to have more. Thank you and see you later. Ooh.